Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chris back with another exciting video for the Essential Phone here. And that is Essential Release, the beta build of Android Oreo uh, for the Essential Phone, which you can download and sideload to your phone, which I'll be doing that here for you today. Just in case if you want a video guide, which I find uh, back when I first started uh, rooting and locking ROMs and stuff, I like watching videos that way I can follow along um, and visually see, kind of prepare myself before jumping into something. Um, I know there's written instructions and there are also instructions there on Essentials website. Um, I'll leave the link where you can uh, sign up for this and also um, basically the link here that you can see on the screen. So you're going to want to download the uh, the beta build um, and save that actually to your ADB fast boot um, folder which you probably may or may not have set up already. Um, I recommend and I haven't had any issues with uh, minimal ADB um, and fast boot. Um, I'll leave the link to that um, down in the description also. So go ahead and download and save it to that uh, folder. You're going to want to of course um, ensure that USB debugging is um, set up on your phone by going to settings, going down to about phones, build number about five times, then go into developer options, scroll down and make sure USB debugging is turned on. So that is all set. So now in the ADB fast boot um, folder, you're going to want to shift right click, open a command window here and ADB devices. You're going to want to actually uh, allow always from this computer. And you can see that's unauthorized. And if we do ADB devices again, we can now see that it is an authorized device. So what we're going to be uh, doing now is actually uh, booting the phone into uh, recovery. Um, so that's ADB reboot recovery. And they even give you that command here um, on the, the website, ADB reboot recovery. So they lay it out fairly, uh, fairly easily. So the phone will reboot and it's going to show a little Android with like a red uh, type caution symbol. So there we are. Perfect. Now we are in the recovery. All right, so when I downloaded the, the file, I've gone ahead and actually renamed it to ph1-ota. Um, again, that just makes typing in um, here in the ADB a little bit easier. You're not having to type out a whole file extension. All right, now that we're in recovery, what we're gonna need to do is actually get into the recovery uh, menu. So we're gonna hold down power and press the volume up button. So hold down power and press the volume up real quick and you should see a, a menu here. What we're gonna wanna actually do is um, apply update from ADB, press enter, or press the power button I should say, and then we should see a now send the package that you want. We're gonna now type in basically ADB sideload and then the file name. So we'll do ADB devices. We can see it is now in sideload. And since we renamed the file, or I renamed the file to make it easier, ph1-ota so adb sideload ph1ota.zip it is now loading and installing you can see on the screen the percentage and then up here we can see the verifying update package it's going to take a couple minutes and we will be right back all right so it has been completed. Um, it pretty much automatically restarted the phone here. Um, so we shall see, even in the instructions, it says once it's done, um, select the reboot, um, reboot system from the recovery. So you may just want to do that if you get that option. Um, but we have here, it rebooted automatically. And we can see already the UI has changed it is now that white look to it. And if we go down to system, about phone, we can see Android version 8.0.0. So this is not 8.0.1 or 8.1. Um, still running November security patch, so that's good at least. Um, and Essential has said that um, when the official 
Oreo update comes, there will be an update to those that are on the beta build. So just like with um, the Pixel devices and the developer previews um, and beta, then those will automatically get OTAs. Um, so yeah, so here is Android Oreo on the Essential Phone. Fantastic. Um, nothing has changed except the icons now. The camera icon looks even worse because it's now within a, a circle, a white circle. Um, that is a, a bit unfortunate. I wish they would have uh, updated the, the camera app, uh, icon to just make it round with, um, with that look there. So let's go into some of the settings here. Um, Again, this is beta, so expect uh, some some things not to work or have some extra bugs. So if we go down to the display, there is a night light option. Fantastic. So it will tint the screen depending on the intensity that you want. And if you want it on a schedule, that is a, a huge plus. Um, that's, that's great to see. Um, lift to check phone, which is down here as well. Um, ambient display is still all there. Let's just turn the night light off. So if we go into battery, here is the new uh, battery section. Battery saver, you can turn that on Macly. We get the percentage for battery up there in the status bar. Nothing different with sounds. Essentials, so you still send uh, usage, diagnostics to essential, nothing new there, unfortunately. Accessibility, um, this should be where our swiping gesture should be. Swipe fingerprint for notification. So it's under the notification section, actually. Uh, batter, battery charging light, you can turn that on. Swipe for notifications. Um, so now you do have still the swiping back here to, to access all of that. So if we try and maybe access the system UI tuner, congratulations, system UI is enabled. So we go down to system, system UI, let's see what new is here. Status bar, nothing new there. Do not disturb, just um, volume controls. We would have picture in picture mode, things like that. So, yeah, Android Oreo uh, beta on the Essential Phone. That's uh, how simple it is to, to install it. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to comment or ask down in the description. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and hopefully, this uh, does us some good. I'm very excited and hopefully we can get some Oreo based ROMs. Um, and yeah, thank you Essential. This is really good news of their development community and their promise to push out updates quickly, which is, which is really, really great actually. Um, let's actually check out the camera real quick. So camera app has not updated. No new settings there either. So that's unfortunate. Um, let's just check out the uh, 360 camera if that also works. So we got the, the blue light on there. And there's a 360. So 360 camera looks like it is working. It is taking a slow bit of time to, to open. Um, so yeah. So that works great, fantastic. Good to hear. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you thought this video was helpful to you or maybe it wasn't helpful to you, but um, you appreciate uh, what I do here. So huge thumbs up to, to Essential and thank you all again. Hope to see you all in the next video. Take care.